Hey Alan, so uh, I'm going to show you here how to use Flickr, which is flickr.com up here in the upper left, as a way to find some photos and put them in the History of the World textbook. So um, I'm going to go to flickr.com here, and uh, you don't even need to log in. Uh, you can sign up for free if you want. Uh, it is a great place to store photos, um, but you don't need to log in. And uh, if you search for something, for example, up here I searched for Ottoman Empire, uh, you can search for the photos or people or groups. I, of course, was looking for photos. You get some options here in terms of licensing, and I went with all Creative Commons uh, licensing. And on the right side here, in advanced, you can see that I can choose different sizes and orientations of the videos. So I'm not going to select panorama. Um, I really want like a wide landscape shot, so I'm also going to deselect these other two. And then I think by default, videos is actually turned on as well, and I'm going to I'm going to deselect that one too. So um, I want to look for a large photo as well. So I am turning off the other ones and keeping this one uh, active. So I'm just going to go to this first one here that, that I have found. And this is the photo. So in the bottom right corner is a share button. And if you click share and then click embed, you get this option right so um, you can have a header on it which I do not recommend but we're gonna keep the the footer on there and that really won't even show up in our case but what it's gonna do is make it so that this links uh, back to uh, Flickr so if somebody wants to see the picture and who took it they would click on the picture and they would go there so I'm gonna copy that and then I'm going to go to a page, in this case the Ottoman Empire page. And um, these two tabs are super important over here. Uh, you have the visual, which is kind of the normal way you see things. And then you have this text tab. So in the text is where I can paste that scary HTML stuff and that's what it looks like pretty awful but when you click paste again you'll get this and when I preview that page it's going to look like that and when your users hover over it it will show kind of a screen tip of what it is and if you click on this it will go back to Flickr so I'm going to show you uh, another thing that I probably would do for you, and I, I could actually show you how this is done as well. Um, a friend of mine made a nice tool that, because uh, you were asking about attribution. So I'm going to go back to that same photo that we were looking at a second ago. And you'll notice that up here in my, this is my um, uh, bookmarks bar, I have this Flickr CC attribution helper. So if I click on that, I get this little window that pops up. And you'll notice that here uh, I can do attribution with image and HTML. So if I take all of this and then paste that into the text page here. you'll see that it adds kind of that information about the person who took it and how it was shared. So uh, I'll preview it again here so you can see it kind of more live. So there is that same picture with this information under it. And I could change the size of this picture or whatever, but these links like go to the picture or the user's Flickr page, and it shows how it was shared. Um, to do it. So anyway, that's how to use Flickr and how to add that content onto a page in Pressbooks.